I'm Dr. Frida, and while I was seeing patients in my outpatient clinic yesterday, one of my patients fainted. He just passed out cold, and while I was springing into action to take care of him, it reminded me that a lot of people don't know what to do when someone faints. So here are five things you need to know about what to do when someone faints. Number one, fainting or syncope occurs when the brain does not get enough blood for a brief period of time and it causes you to pass out. The loss of consciousness is usually brief. Number two, if someone faints and they have no pulse and they're not breathing, you need to call 911, initiate CPR immediately and get an AED. Number three, if someone faints and they do have a pulse and they are breathing, do not try to stand them back up. Don't even try to sit them up right away. This is a common mistake. You want to position them on their back, make sure they're lying down flat, and try to elevate their feet about 12 inches. You're trying to increase the blood flow to the brain. And if this breathing person who has fainted has not regained consciousness within one minute, you still call 911. Number four, pay attention to possible injuries. Did the fainting person hit their head? Are they bleeding? Do they have any cuts? Do they have any possible broken bones? If you suspect injury, seek medical attention. Number five, if you yourself feel faint, if you're feeling lightheaded, a little dizzy, if you're sweating or feeling jittery like you're about to faint, don't walk and try to find a convenient place to sit down. Don't be cute. You drop to the floor where you are and you sit down or even lie down. Or if you're sitting down already, then try to lie down or at least lean your head forward to try to increase perfusion to your brain. Lean your head over your knees. If you're trying to walk around after you feel faint, then you're risking the chance that you'll actually faint or have a syncopal episode and really injure yourself.